Amber Ray from Southern Country Living, and today I'm making my cornbread dressing recipe. Uh, yesterday I cooked a, a pan of cornbread, and also I cut my biscuits. And so I like to do it a day ahead so that they dry out um, before I make my dressing. That's the way I like to do it, and I've always done it that way, and it works great for me. And uh, also I'm uh, cooking my chicken over here in this pot. <laughs> It's chicken breast, and uh, it is the kind that's got the bone on it. I get that kind for better flavor. <laughs> and so uh, I usually cook it for about 15 minutes, then I let it cool, and then I break it up, and um, I add it to my dressing. And so uh, I've got some prep work to do today. I've got to chop up my celery and my onions. And um, so uh, let me get started on that and I'll be back. All right, my uh, chicken, I've already got it deboned and it's cooled. And this right here is my chicken broth and uh, I put my uh, celery and onion in it to let it get uh, softened up. And so now I'm going to crumble up my cornbread and my biscuits. And sometimes uh, when your cornbread sits a little bit, you have to have a spatula to pry it up. <laughs> okay, so. And uh, this recipe will be in the description below. Our family's been making this dressing for years like this. This is the way we like to make it. I know a lot of people put different things in their dressing, but we really don't like cranberries and sausage and all that in ours. But it's however, everybody's different and everybody's got their own way that they like theirs. And when I make my dressing, I usually put less biscuits in it than I do cornbread. And the amounts of the cornbread and the biscuit will be in the recipe in the description below. And um, I think I'm just going to use about four of these today. These were the best tasting biscuits. When I made these biscuits, I uh, also made me a sausage biscuit that morning, and it was really good. The reason I don't put as much biscuit in it is it doesn't. I don't like the texture in it if there's more biscuits in it than cornbread. I believe that might be enough biscuits right there. Let me wash my hands and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm going to be adding in my sage. We don't like a whole lot of sage either. We like, some people put a lot of sage, but we don't like a whole lot. Okay. Now, the, let me stir all this up.
think I have that stirred up good enough. So now I'm going to add in my onions and chicken broth. Smell good. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying how it's smelling and looking. Mm. That is my favorite meal that you ever cook. Yeah. Okay. Now then, I'm gonna put two eggs in. in well, I think I'm gonna put this in there, and then I'm gonna put my eggs. Chicken. Yes. Then I'm going to put my two eggs in. I'm going to get in a fork and beat those up just a little bit. I hope everybody is having a good day today. It's kind of overcast here today. I'm looking forward to this dressing.
my lips pretty in here in this bow. <laughs> I'm going to wash my hands one more time, okay? I've got my dressing all mixed up good now, and so I'm going to pour it into my um, pan. Okay, I just got my dressing poured into my pan, and so I'm going to be cooking it for about 45 to 50 minutes at 350 degrees. And while this is cooking, I'm going to be making my gravy. My cornbread dressing is cooking, and so now I'm going to be making my gravy. So I'm going to be adding um, two cans of cream of chicken. Then I'm going to be adding a cup of water to this. We really do like this gravy. It's like I said, it's really fast and easy, and we like it as good as all uh, the other gravies that people make that <laughs> take a long time. <laughs> pepper in and this uh, recipe will be in the description below also chicken so now I'm going to add my parsley and I'm going to let this cook um, I'm going to let this come to a boil and then I'm going to cook it for about five minutes the gravy's come to a boil now and it's been cooking for about five minutes and my uh, cornbread dressing just likes a few more minutes being done, and so I'm going to be ready to serve it up in just a few minutes. Okay, my dressing just came out of the oven, and I uh, know it's two weeks till Thanksgiving, but I wanted to share y'all my fast and easy dressing recipe, and uh, it's really good, and 
One of the things that makes this really uh, fast and easy recipe is I cook my bread a day ahead of time and I don't have to do it on the day that I make my dressing and I'll let my bread dry out. And so um, let me serve us up some of this dressing and I know it's gonna be good. <laughs> Now let me put my fast and easy uh, chicken gravy on it. And this dressing is very moist. delicious <laughs> but my dressing always is <laughs> okay let me take another side of this with some cranberry salt mm. that's the way I like to eat it <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed my um, old-fashioned cornbread dressing and so, do what you love and love what you do, and y'all have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.